Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are on day 38 of our 1001 tarot spreads. Today it is spread for breaking through the barriers of fear. It is a four card reading, and we will be using the wizard's tarot to find some answers. Let's get into it. For this spread, the first card is what is behind the fear? What is causing this fear? Card number two is how likely is this bad thing actually to happen? Card number three is what triggers will make this worse? And card number four is what action can I take to prevent what I am afraid of happening? So we're going to lay these out and see what our answer is. Okay, card number one is the Queen of Wands. Two is the Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness. The Page of Wands and the King of Cups, they are all reversed. That is, that is a heady reading. Okay, first observations are three noble cards of wands, which actually makes sense because a lot of times when we're afraid of things is because we're too much in our own heads. And that is a lot of mental energy. That is a lot of the logic side of the body. But then with the King of Cups reversed also, there's also that undercurrent of emotion. So card number one was the Queen of Wands, which is what am I actually afraid of? What is behind the fear? So <laughs> that is a feminine energy. If it's representing a person, it is some form of matriarchal person in your life who has been a mentor, who has taught you practical skills. With that context in mind, I believe that is a fear you picked up from that person. Probably something to do with either your education, your career, something that they were afraid of on your behalf that you yourself are now afraid of. Card number two. Is this bad thing actually likely to happen? Or is it just fear? So that was the Knight of Swords. Of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Knights are, when referring to a person, the not mature yet, but clearly an adult. So typically somewhere 20s, 30s. In this case, I feel it is less a real person and more a, a message. Knights are typically the ones who are talking about changes. Being reversed, it's that there is some quagmire of thought. Do you actually need to be afraid of this? I think not. I don't think that this is something you need to be overly concerned about. Card number three, the Page of Wands. What triggers this fear or makes it worse? Page of Wands are typically young. They are, they are novices in their field. So what's triggering it, particularly with it being reversed, it's someone who has more experience than you. It's someone who, when you have conversations with them, you start doubting yourself. Have some faith. Believe in yourself. Card number four, the King of Cups, reversed. The entire reading is reversed. What action can I take to overcome this fear? So the King of Cups is typically the man who is in control of his emotions. He still perceives them, he feels them, but he allows them to inform his decisions rather than blindly making decisions off of the emotion. In this case, being reversed, there is some kernel of truth to this fear, but it's nowhere near as big as you think. It is more... 
because of your lack of control over your emotion that this is being threatening. If you think about it and slow down, actually process that emotion, examine that fear, you will be able to overcome it and avoid it. You will be able to learn the steps to take because you have identified what the problem is. That sums up this four card reading on day 38 of our 1001 Tarot Spreads. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.